I'm Colonel Terry McKenna, commander of the 192nd Infantry Brigade here at Fort Benning. We conduct reception and training for over 30,000 soldiers a year. We have been an army at war for over eight years. Our mission is to make sure these soldiers, when they complete basic combat training and go through their advanced individual training, are ready to join their units and prepare to deploy to Iraq or Afghanistan. You're about to see a video of our training initiatives that highlights how we make sure these soldiers are proud members of a team, self-disciplined, proficient in their basic soldier skills, masters of their critical combat skills, confident, adaptive, and ready to fight. Take the high ground. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. Confident, adaptive, and combat ready. In today's operating environment, it is vital we build the best trained soldiers and leaders for our Army. This is one reason why in basic combat and infantry one station unit training, our programs of instruction are continuously evolving. Our initiatives include combat familiarization fire, by incorporating this technique into our marksmanship program, we train soldiers to engage targets in stressful conditions, including changing firing positions, magazine changes, reducing stoppages, engaging multiple targets simultaneously, and requiring multiple hits to destroy a target. Ready? Up. On reflexive fire ranges, soldiers learn to safely and effectively engage targets in close quarters Ready, using rapid, aimed, reflexive fire. Ready, These skills are further developed during advanced rifle marksmanship training, in the engagement skills trainer, and on live fire ranges. Soldiers engage targets from 5 to 25 meters while stationary, moving, and turning. This training builds on skills founded on basic rifle marksmanship instruction and it prepares soldiers for urban operations. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. A culmination of marksmanship and buddy team tactics, soldiers negotiate a buddy team live fire scenario. This exercise combines many of the individual tasks soldiers have learned and applies them in a realistic environment. Soldiers must communicate, move as a buddy team, and safely and effectively engage targets while maintaining situational awareness. I am disciplined, physically and mentally tough, trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. Improvised explosive devices are a constant threat in today's operating environments of Iraq and Afghanistan. In the newly constructed IED training lanes, soldiers will learn the characteristics of the IEDs they may encounter in theater. Some type of remote, right? Also, that means the enemy has to be somewhere around, huh? Uh. They learn how to detect them and the different methods by which we can defeat these devices. Finally, soldiers negotiate a realistic, situation-based training lane, replicating the IED threat and ultimately showing soldiers how they can beat it. Good. I bring you down. Don't let me push up. Good. One powerful asset to improve the fitness of soldiers leaving basic training are our athletic trainers. They assess and correct our soldiers' running form in order to prevent injuries and improve performance. They can identify injuries at an early stage by observing physical training. And finally, they work with injured soldiers to speed their recovery and allow continued fitness improvement. This program has significantly reduced injuries, shortened recovery time, and improved pass rates of our final PT test. The mounted react to contact training allows soldiers to apply all critical soldier tasks in a realistic environment. Soldiers move in a convoy of three to four up-armored Humvees. Once they make contact with an enemy threat, soldiers return fire with mounted, crew-served weapons and execute a battle drill using UTM training munitions against a reactionary op four who returns fire. This exercise forces soldiers to use cover, execute battle drills, apply marksmanship fundamentals, and finally, treat and evacuate casualties. As a result of this training, soldiers leave BASIC much more competent and confident in their critical soldier skills. I am an expert. I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. Get down, get down on your
Urban operations training builds the fundamentals necessary for our soldiers to successfully operate in an urban environment. This training is progressive throughout a cycle. Soldiers first learn the responsibilities of each man in a room clearing team. They master these skills through repetition. Once versed on clearing single rooms, soldiers progress to multiple rooms, hallways, and stairways. Finally, soldiers learn how to move in urban environments. This training prepares them to quickly assimilate into their first unit of assignment. These are just a few of the initiatives of BCT and Infantry OSIT that continue to improve how we train the POI tasks and standards to achieve the best outcomes and prepare soldiers for the full spectrum of operations in this era of persistent conflict and for the future. I am a guardian of freedom and American way of life. I am an American soldier.